morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Maria, Pest Pros. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of background. I, uh, I've done, I've ran a few companies. Uh, the last one before this was a pest control company. I did that in the Kalamazoo area for about five years. Um, I decided to leave that uh, and I went up and sold pesticides in Grand Rapids for about a year. Uh, and then uh, a friend of mine who is a local home inspector gave me a call and said, I have this idea. <laughs> and, uh, and so we uh, started talking about it and he said, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> like, I'll let you make all the decisions, um, but uh, he would provide all the funding. And so it uh, sounded like a good idea to me. Uh, so I came back from uh, Grand Rapids and, uh, well, I, I actually stayed selling pesticides for a year and I wrote the business plan for Pest Pros. Uh, so that was kind of fun. So we are now in our second year uh, and seeing it all come to life has been uh, really kind of exciting. Uh, so uh, we, these, are our, these are our trucks. Probably one of the best decisions that we made was having the trucks wrapped. Um, we only have three or four trucks, but everybody always says, I see your trucks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, that, so this is our, um, our mission statement empowering our team to help enrich the lives of our community through service, education, and dignity. Uh, so really the whole reason, there's two reasons uh, that we've kind of started this whole venture. One for me personally is that I just wanna enjoy getting up and going to work every single day. I've been in some situations where I didn't enjoy getting up and going to work, and so to me, uh, that's really one of the biggest values that I hold. I really, my dream is to be voted best place to work, mm -hmm. um, and so, like that's one of the things that we really strive for in like uh, in our culture. Um, and then the other piece to this is that we really uh, wanna provide a service to uh, vulnerable populations. And so we do a lot with the mental health community, we do a lot with senior services, we do a lot with um, specific, specific communities that maybe um, kind of slip through the cracks. And so I, uh, I always joke that, um, that we're more social workers than we are pest control. <laughs> and so we, uh, we really kind of take pride on, um, you know, it, it's kind of a vulnerable um, position for people to open up their homes to, for someone to come in and then say, there is a stigma about, I have this bug, you know? So, uh, so that's kind of one of the things that we, that we pride ourselves on. So this is our most popular service. This is our uh, residential seasonal service. We do this April through October. When I agreed to come, I was like, sweet, it'll be October, we'll be slowing down. We are absolutely not slowing down. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, between stink bugs and the mosquito thing that's going on. We have been absolutely slammed, which is a good problem to have, but we're all a little tired. So, uh, so this one is our regular residential. Uh, mosquitoes and fleas and ticks, we add termites, we can do all that different stuff. These are all of the services that we provide. So we do uh, real estate inspections, residential, we do a lot of commercial, and um, wildlife is kind of something that we've been sticking our toes into recently. Um, we, we can do some of it, but it gets a little bit specialized. So um, we do have some other companies that we partner with that um, go the next, <laughs> the next level. So uh, for us, the problem that we would like to solve is that we are very, very skewed. So uh, we get the majority of our revenue about seven months out of the year, and for the other five, we're like whoosh. And uh, because we're so busy during the summertime, none of us really are too worried about that, <laughs> except that um, the numbers don't really support it, so it really does get challenging when you're trying to support uh, staff and keeping people busy and all of that kind of stuff. So that's something that we've been working on. Um, we've actually been considering adding um, some other services like attic cleanouts and some different things that maybe we could do in the winter time um, that would keep our staff busy and also kind of complement our core business. Um, but I'm sure, as you guys know, adding on uh, to your core business when you're so new is kind of a little bit uh, scary too with having too many, <laughs> too many different revenue streams. So, um, so yeah, that's. That's kind of the basis, and um, right now I, I have an absolutely wonderful staff. Um, I have uh, an awesome office manager. She's out and about in the community all the time. <laughs> and then I've got, um, I've got two 
um, technicians who I just absolutely adore and who are great people people and um, we've just had a great time kind of getting this up and going and uh, and we're really looking forward to the next five years my my goal over the next five years is to add another five techs um, and um, you know just kind of keep going where we're going so that's all I got okay. thank you